Hi, this is an introduction to the timer series where you will learn WPF and C Sharp by creating a timer program. Let's look what you will create during these tutorials. The interface is divided into two parts. The left part contains presets. There are buttons which set the time for one timer and buttons which set the time for two timers. The right part contains the main timer and the subtimer. You can set each timer to be as long as 60 hours, that is 180 hours in total, in other words, 5 days. Of course, we won't wait so long to test it. After you start the timer, you can hide it in tray. When the time finishes, you will hear a sound, if it is on, and see the window on top. There is a subtimer which starts when the first timer finishes. You can set different sound notifications for each timer in order to make them more recognizable. You heard the first timer, but we still have the subtimer working. These are actually your system sounds, so if those are disabled, you won't hear them except for sound 1, which is played by your hardware. That means you still can hear some sounds, even if your PC doesn't have loudspeakers plugged in. You can disable the subtimer if it is not working yet. You could have noticed the two flags there. So, the program supports English and German, no need to restart. You can choose between auto-detecting or fixed language setting on start. The timer window shows on top if neither the main nor the sub-timer is working. In these tutorials, you will learn how to set icons, make a timer program with an optional second timer, your system and hardware sounds, generate and use license keys and hashing for software protection. Make your program multilingual, for example English and German. Automatically detect the language. Use third-party controls. Use tray. Make custom fancy draggable windows. Work with registry. Fade windows. There are going to be approximately 7 or 8 tutorials. I hope to see you in part 1. Subscribe not to miss that.